Good morning. Good morning, fellow Guyanese. Today, I'm very pleased to <coughs> address you on a very important national subject, and that is the launch of our competitive bidding round process for uh, the new blocks. As you're aware, we have committed that the new blocks will be publicly auctioned. Today, 14 such blocks will be placed on auction, and we're hoping that the course of the submission of the bids will be on the 14th of April, 2023, and our timeline is to have contracts awarded by the end of May, 2023. This, of course, will follow negotiations and uh, evaluation of the bids that we receive during this bidding round. Uh, that will see 14 uh, blocks placed uh, in this bidding round. And what are the features of this bidding round that is important for us? As we would have highlighted during the campaign and over the last two years, what we're seeking to do is to have the best possible outcome for Guyana, given the lessons we have learned. We've also stated that we respect the contract on the Stabrook block, but that every, any new block will be subject to new terms and conditions. And in so doing, these, uh, this bidding round is done, taking into consideration the lessons learned, uh, the experiences, and the new terms and conditions. The 14 blocks per tender will be in shallow, shallow water and deep water areas combined. The contractual commitments and relinquishment obligation to ensure expeditious development of oil and gas resources. As we have continuously stressed, stressed, we have a situation where there is a time frame on uh, oil and gas development we understand the direction in which the world is going. So it's very important for us to have uh, developers who are serious, who will, in, who will in an expeditious way move towards the development <coughs> of the oil and gas resources. So strong contractual commitments are in place in this bidding round, the strong rel relinquishment obligations. This really is once the, once the bidder does not fulfill their obligations, the process of relinquishment, that is where they will have to hand back the block to the government, um, is made stronger and more expeditious. We have improved fiscal terms that provide a greater balance of the share of revenue between the government and contractor while maintaining Guyana's competitive edge in the region and globally. <clears throat> this is another key feature because we understand that the cost uh, of capital for oil and gas exploration and development is going up also. And we also understand that the access to capital has become uh, quite more cumbersome. So we have to ensure that there is a balance in, in what we do, that is the government gets the best possible um, deal in terms of revenue, but at the same time, whilst we focus on getting the best possible deal in terms of revenue for the government, that Guyana's competitive edge is not reduced. So that delicate balance had, had to be uh, striped, and I am very pleased to say that the conditions and the bid requirement provides that balance and where the country competitive advantage is not threatened and at the same time the greater balance of the share of revenue comes uh, between the government and the contractor. We promise a transparent process that imposes minimum qualification criteria that reflect international best practices and expertise and capital requirement necessary to conduct exploration and production activities in shallow and deep water areas respectively. As you're aware, 
There is different requirement for shallow water and deep water operation. Uh, there is different type of expertise that is required for shallow water and deep water. There is different type of capabilities that is required for shallow water and deep water. So the criteria used in this bidding process take that into consideration to ensure that there's great transparency, that those who are participating in the bid meet the minimum requirement, but at the same time, uh, there is enough room for uh, greater participation in the bidding. Uh, importantly, uh, we have separate requirements uh, for qualification to, par to participate in deeper, deeper versus shallow water blocks. For tender with a higher bar set for deeper areas. As I said, the deeper areas are more complex. The deeper area require <clears throat> stronger capabilities. And as, as a result of that, there are stronger requirements, qualification requirements, and the bar is set quite higher in relation to the deep water exploration. Deep water is also very capital intensive, uh, and deeper exploration and production is, uh, requires specialized technical skills, and of course, a different uh, level of uh, exploration and production activities. So that uh, separation is there in terms of deep water and shallow water. Important, as you know, in the last government we had the issue with um, the signing bonus that no, no one knew about and, and the whole, uh, what I would say, lack of transparency that surrounded that. In this uh, bidding process, we have made it very clear that there is a minimum signature bonus requirement of 10 million US dollars for shallow water and 20 million US dollars for deep water blocks for tender. So we have established a minimum bonus for shallow water that is 10 million US dollars and 20 million US dollars for deep water blocks in this tender. The minimum work commitment specified for the initial and renewal of periods of the prospecting license consists of a combination of seismic and drilling of exploration wells with fulfillment of prior commitment as precondition to enter the subsequent renewal period. So this is really attached to the relinquishment uh, clause in which there are specific commitments that must be met in a phased manner, specific commitments that must be met uh, with specific time bomb. Uh, deliverables so that uh, we don't have blocks held up for a very long time with um, minimum uh, uh, investment. The, uh, there's a participation fee of US $20,000 uh, for this um, bidding. Of course, that fee is set at a, a rate that uh, does not uh, disallow uh, interest. So the participation fee uh, is of 20,000 US is payable in respect of a block per tender in order to gain access to the virtual data room and participate in the competitive bidding process. So there is a virtual data room that will be launched uh, simultaneously and there is a participation fee of 20,000 US that will give you access to that virtual uh, data room and for you to participate in this competitive bidding process. So these are some of the key features uh, that, that you will see in relation to this bidding run, run that has been launched. As you know, the Guyana Offshore Basin has captivated the attention of the global oil market participants, now labeled as a gateway to the world's fastest growing super basin over the last four, four years. Guyana's offshore is estimated to have potential resources in excess of 25 billion barrels, and an estimated res reserve in excess of 11 billion barrels. Now, let me be very clear that these new features are uh, in keeping with our commitment during the campaign, in keeping with our commitment to enhance transparency, openness, uh, and to get the best possible um, uh, deal for Guyana. So I'm pleased today that we are able to, uh, in this very public manner, launch our bidding round for the 14 
uh, new blocks in shallow and deep water. I encourage all those who uh, uh, believe that um, you know that they could have uh, attracted uh, and they can attract uh, investors to to do so to participate in this process. Uh, we are hoping that there will be maximum participation and that Guyana uh, would be uh, part of a partnership that brings greater benefit and create greater uh, wins for our country and our people. So today is an important day for our country as we launch 